Hello everyone, artist Wayne here with my new 3D printer. This is super exciting. But before I unbox this Prusa Mach 4 S 3D printer, let me explain to you why I purchased it. Being a huge Mad Max fan, a couple of months ago I came across a company that were bringing out a die-cast model of the Mad Max Interceptor in a whopping 1/8 scale that would make the model over 60 centimeters long. Just imagine the detail. However, this model comes as a monthly magazine subscription. And at four magazines a month, the model would take close to two and a half years to build. Plus, the entire cost of the model is upwards of $3,000. It's a fantastic looking model, but it's a lot of money. Which brings me back to this 3D printer, which costs half as much, and I can print whatever I like. So after searching the internet for all things Mad Max related, I found an even bigger model of the Mad Max 2 Interceptor car that you simply download and print with your 3D printer. And this car can be printed in a huge 1.6 scale measuring over 70 centimeters long. How much fun am I going to have printing this model, putting this model together, and painting this model in a post-apocalyptic Aussie Outback Mad Max 2 Road Warrior style. And if anyone out there has any tips or tricks, be sure to let me know in the comments section. So now it's time to unbox this 3D printer. Super excited about this. It's my first 3D printer. However, I do have to put it together. So, we'll have a look at this baby. Right. Comes with some lollies. <laughs> 3D printing handbook. That should come in handy. Power cord. Little USB drive. Another book with 3D prints in it. Steel sheet. Delta PSU, whatever that is. It's like Christmas. Plates, plate set, extrusion set, everything's really well packed, really well boxed. Oh. No idea what that is, but I'm sure I'll find out. Like I said, this is going to be a very steep learning curve. But, putting the printer together... Oh, jeez. <laughs> putting the printer together will give, give me a better understanding... Oh, wow, it comes with some tools. Will give me a better understanding on... how the whole thing works. So, it's going to be a huge job. There is a lot here, a lot here. And it looks like, I'll have to order filament because there's not much there. I probably should have into that. Oh, there's a lot of gear here. There's a lot of parts. It's going to be a big job. 
rods. We're getting to the bottom of it now. Anyway, as I put this together, as I put it together, I'll be able to, or whilst I'm putting it together, I'll order some rolls of filament to find out where I can get all of that stuff from that it's sent. But at the moment, I need to be careful because I'm not actually at home farm sitting at the moment so we'll be building this here and then taking it home so I'll probably start printing when I get home which will be soon but anyway in the next video I should have this completely put together and working fingers crossed well I certainly have my work cut out for me but I am up for the task and in my next video I shall endeavour to build the original Prusa Mark 4S 3D printer. I'm artist Wayne Dowson and thanks for watching everyone.